Hiya, I'm John. Uh, I've just got into work. This is my first time trying out this new Zona rear view camera system. These are pre-production models, but they are all the internals are as the production ones that are coming out around the end of June. Uh, it's just uh, small parts of the casings that are changes, but basically it puts this tiny little screen just in front of my eye. Now it looks like it's going to get in the way while I'm riding, but it hasn't. Uh, I've been through um, some busy town traffic and out on the open road. Uh, the only thing I really noticed was that um, out of this eye, I couldn't quite see the indicator uh, warning light, but out of the other eye I could. So it was blocking nothing. Um, and it feels strange at first because you're, you're basically seeing obviously everything behind you in a flip view. So it feels completely natural, but I instinctively at the moment still want to keep looking in my mirrors. But when you get used to it, you, you do, uh, you realize it takes less time to look at this screen. Uh, you feel like you're looking at it too long, um, but it takes you less time to look at it than to look in particularly both mirrors. Obviously it cuts out the blind spot directly behind you. Uh, and I've found it, it cuts out uh, part of the blind spot when cars are to the left or the right. It doesn't completely obliterate that, although the thing that these pre-production ones is missing is a, a, a few little features that can be checked from the firmware. One of them is that you can tip your head, just nod it, and, and the view changes slightly. The, the way the camera works is that it, it gives a much wider view and it's cropped for what you see in here. Uh, that'll allow it to give this movement left and right, which will also work as you tip into roundabouts and corners. Uh, but it also allows for the digital image stabilization, which hasn't been fitted to these units yet. But otherwise, these are what's coming out. They're coming out in production packaging. They're... The one I've got looks exactly like a production model until you look really, 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 really closely. There's some small points. Uh, the um, lens on the camera has a little uh, lip around it they found that that held water so that's going the glass on this one is just glass it's actually sapphire on the production models uh, which is anti-reflective coating on the inside um, and hydrophobic on the outside uh, so in this first use I have been really impressed I'm a little bit skeptical of things like this and we've seen other models come and go things that have come up on um, Kickstarter stuff like that and of course there was Scully which didn't come out but this is it's, the, these pre-production ones do work. They work really well. It's not distracting. It's a good, clear vision. The, the only thing I found is maybe um, if you're used to what you see from your mirrors, uh, things do look a little bit further. Things are a little bit smaller in the screen. Obviously, the screen's smaller, but it looks big. But the cars that will look a certain size in your mirror look a little bit smaller in there. But you soon adapt to it. And obviously, I'm going to put a lot more miles in this, find out where to get on. And I'll keep updating and let you know how I get on with it. But so far, I'm really impressed with it.